Zombie Apocalypse. Peggy 18. One of my earliest memories of music not, not coming from a traditional scene was the music for Metroid. I was completely caught up in that music. The first game I worked on was called Excessive Speed. We had the, like the first Pentium processors, the small 14-inch CRT screen, and Sound Blaster sound card. That was it. You know. Ground Control 2 was, well, we were still a, a small company, but we had a solid fan base. I felt we need to solidify the trust of the fans. I wanted to give them something more for the people who really liked the music from the first game. I'm still very proud of the music for World in Conflicts. I was very lucky to start working close with the writer, and we had a close relationship discussing different characters, giving us a score that was much more married to what was going on in the game. It was half a year before the first E3. That's when I started writing the music, leading us into our first unveiling of the game. Without any preconceptions at all of, of the sounds, I started investigating the story and the characters and, and figuring out where do the sounds come from in the world, in the story. There are going to be characters in the game that play different instruments, and you're going to encounter these people in different ways, in different locations. The pianist, he is actually my brother. He, he works here at Massive as a programmer. We are really close. We've been doing music together for the last 15 years. And when the time came to record this music, uh, I thought he would suit this character perfectly. We have the general, like the epic story of The Division. This will always have its own more orchestrated sound. But when you dig into the deeper stuff, when you play the game, sometimes even go only down to percussion and analog synthesizers and get that roomy, realistic feel with, with something that is old and tangible. Get the room, get the tone, get the feeling and find a place for that in the game. Limitations is the key to invention in anything, really. I find so every single day I create music is about limitations and what happens to people when society breaks down, they go back to their roots. I looked at uh, different kinds of guitars and a lot of instruments that were brought to the US when people still didn't have records and, and things like that. What is it that we fall back on when we don't have electricity and things like that? But that was sort of building the basis of the whole score. Must have been the last train out. 